Okay, it's kind of creepy. He's looking at me. Have you guys ever been to a toy show before? I was losing my mind. And I only went like $50 over budget. So I can't wait to show you what I got. one plan today. I went to my very first toy fair. Toy fair? My very first toy show? I have got quite a haul. Retro, some vintage. I guess, you know, retro and vintage is what I was expecting at a toy show. And about three booths in, I had to stop filming because I was having so much fun. Okay, so third booth in. Wow. And you're like, Oh look, a busted up Woody doll without the hat. And the, the tag on him for five bucks. Oh look, he's missing a button too. Ah, if you are a toy story collector, you know. So I picked up the boot and it says Thinkway. So is it worth anything when he's all beat up like this and no hat? I don't think so. But when I got my first Woody doll this last Christmas, I found out how hard it is to find the Thinkway. So yeah, $5, beat up Woody, mmm. So I buy this and I mosey over to the next booth and I watch and she grabs another Woody doll and puts it right back in the spot. I bolted over there and I picked up the boot, but it wasn't, it wasn't Thinkway, it was a shop Disney. So now I have an original Woody. Oh, you know what I haven't done yet? There you go. <laughs> Nothing. Anyway, this find, three and a half minutes in. Mm, it was so good! So the next booth over, I found this record. Babes in Toyland. When I was a kid, my dad absolutely loved Annette Funicello. So naturally, I loved Annette Funicello. Who didn't love Annette Funicello, right? So I've been trying to find some cool piece to reflect my love of Babes in Toyland. I know the soldiers are pretty iconic. I love seeing them on the record here. You gotta see the back. Oh my gosh, it says right here, copyright 1961. You know how I am about the old stuff. And it's in pretty good condition. Wow. Yes, there's a record in it. Will I ever play it? Maybe. You guys check this out. The animation is on point. Oh my word, look at the trees. Look at the trees. You guys, I'm impressed. Can you tell? And I clearly bought this, handed over cash before I really inspected it. So. We've got Woody, we've got a Babes in Toyland record. This next shot will be hard to do. I found two sets of vintage Seven Dwarfs. You can see one set has, it's like they're standing on a stump and like this one, it says Dopey. Can you see that at the bottom there? Dopey. And Grumpy, I mean, come on, how iconic. I've got the full set crop in another shot for you. These things were filthy, filthy, just covered in layers of grime. I'm digging through this box and he's, you can tell he's just like, please dear God, take them all, take them all. But I didn't want to take any of them unless he had a full set. This set, I can tell I've got the entire set. This next set, I think I may have a couple sets combined. And again, I'll do another shot so you can see all of them. Paint job on the face is just slightly different. And yeah, even their outfits, it's a little bit different, but they're all this uh, soft plastic. Squeaky. These are made in Hong Kong. Made in China. Yeah, these look a little bit newer, but not terribly new. I could be wrong. These for sure, I think, vintage. These are questionable. 
adorable nonetheless. I really have to chill out. I can't be buying seven dwarf stuff every time I see it. Just, I fall victim to it if it's old, if it's a full set, if they're in good condition. I blame my dad. This was his favorite movie, right? Do you like how I do that so I don't have to take any personal responsibility? Dad, it's your fault. Okay, what do we do next? Same booth. This guy, once he found out I was his Disney girl, he grabbed me a couple other boxes. He's like, oh, if you're a Disney collector, he had for $1, all of these in a little Ziploc baggie, Tailspin. And I don't know if they're like McDonald's or Burger King, but I found these on eBay forever ago. And you know, I wanted the full set. Of course. I say that of course, and I'm not a completionist, but I don't know, these tiny little things retro, if I could find them for an affordable price, great condition, yeah, I want the full set. So I'm digging and I'm digging and I'm looking and I found this perfect set. They're not dinged up. The propellers aren't broken. They're not terribly scratched up. For a buck! Look how perfect! Oh my word. So I know Baloo and I know Cloud Kicker. Kit Cloud Kicker. <gasps> For the life of me, I can't think of their names. Disney in the afternoon, that's all I can tell you. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so I was super happy to find these. So that's one thing he dug out for me. And I was like, yes. Oh my gosh. This set. Oliver and Company. And as per usual, these two, I'm like, oh, cute. No, it's these two. It's Georgia and Francis. Is it Francis? Oh, George. Yas, please. Oh my God, they're adorable. So I'm off to a great start at the toy fair. But yeah, same booth. Dude wasn't done. He was like, more Disney, throwing it at me. Hercules, two sets that I've been eyeing and these I would have paid up for. Well, in fact, I did pay up for. So they both came in. They were unopened in their McDonald's uh, packaging. And so Herc is still in there. It doesn't really look like Herc. And besides, that's not what I was after. I was after Hydra. And the three fates. You guys know how I like the oddball stuff, right? Wouldn't it be great if Jim Shore did it? If Jim Shore did the three fates? Oh my gosh. Jim Shore, are you listening? <laughs> but you know, it's this oddball. It's the side characters. It's generally villains. So until Jim Shore does it, these will suffice. But let's see, is it pain or panic? <laughs> With the eyeball, you guys. <laughs> Ah, remember that when the eyeballs bouncing around and then I found him in a box for like 25 cents. He's so grumpy. Have you heard a rumor they're doing a live action remake or live action of Hercules? If that's true, won't it just break your heart? If uh, this is not Danny DeVito, if they cast, I mean, how, how could you cast him as someone else? Oh Lord. Answer our prayers, please. I got one more package from the same booth and I haven't opened it yet. Hunchback of Notre Dame, Notre Dame. It's my gargoyles. <gasps> oh my goodness, dude. These old toys, the molds are so spot on. Lorraine, Victor and Hugo, which are you, you literary people in the know. It's Victor Hugo that wrote Hunchback, right? The original. Can you see the definition in their expressions? That's pretty good. It's not as good as the piggy bank I have, one of my very favorite pieces. Ooh, 1996. These little guys are so sweet. All right, so that's everything from that dude's booth. And he cut me a screaming good deal. There is a moment <laughs> where I realize I'm walking through the toy show by myself like this. Just a kid. 
you know, I'm just a kid and it's a candy store and it was everything I hoped it would be. All right, guys, we're halfway done. I got a few more. All of these booths, they usually have, the tables are full, but they have boxes underneath. Loose items, not highly sought after. The ones I'm gonna show you are, I got 25 cents a piece or a buck. This is Vinny. Here's uh, Vinny from um, Atlantis. Atlantis and Hunchback are great examples of like, there's just not a lot of merch. So I'm willing to settle for these trinkety toys. Also, the molds on the face. I am so impressed. What has happened? Like when I go buy a toy now, I'm not impressed with the molds. The old stuff, maybe that's just a sign I'm getting old, right? They just don't make them like they used to. Let's come back to the toy, right? So Vinny found him in one of the boxes, 25 cents or a buck. Can't wait to get the rest. I will be scouring eBay. Um, Clopin, Clopan, Clopa? Clopan, Hunchback, right? I don't know, the older I get, the more I love Hunchback, right? Why? So I can watch it and bawl my eyes out. But this dude, I mean, he's kind of the narrator, right? But he's a really fun side character. So I'm always looking for his merch. Do I love this? No, but he's a decent placeholder for now. It just dawned on me too, what I'm looking at, like his expression here. This is the puppet version of him in the movie. So until I get something dope, he's gonna have to hold space for. Is it Clopin? Clopin? <sighs> a squirt! From um, Finding Nemo. Ooh, do I have a Finding Nemo collection? Nah, that's looking too cluttered, can't do it. I love squirts. And the next two, oh my gosh, 25 cents or a dollar, I feel like I hit the lottery. We'll start here. Morph, Morphe. Treasure Planet, another one of those 90s movies, early 2000s, 90s, that gets like no love and certainly no merch. Look at Morphe. He looks just like our character in the movie. Can't you hear his little giggle? He's so sweet. Again, old toy, like, and it looks just like the movie. That gets me, man, that gets me. Ah! Oh. And then finally, from Tarzan. It's Jane's dad. I'm just, I'm repeating myself, Tarzan. Another great example of there's no decent merch and they're never making merch. I know Tarzan is an exception because the family's holding on to the rights of Tarzan. And he's perfect! He's not scuffed up. A little mustache. <gasps> it's perfect. This set that was made, Jane is such a disappointment with the little toy. Wouldn't it be awesome if we could get like a Jane Jim Shore? I would cry as long as it was done well. If it wasn't perfect, I wouldn't buy it. His little feet. <laughs> Life simple pleasures, man. <laughs> so remember when I told you I'm walking around the toy fair just like, now you believe me. Okay, so I'm done, I'm capped out. I've spent more money than I should have. And I'm looking at the last couple booths like, well, I don't wanna miss anything. I think they're the little Tsum Tsum sets. We have Carl and Russell and Doug. Now, I am not huge into the Tsum Tsum. The thing that gets me is when a toy, a figurine, an ornament, whatever, looks just like the character in the movie. So these don't, right? But what got me, right? What got me is this upset came with the balloon cart. The balloon. We're paying homage to Ellie, people. <laughs> so it was this darn balloon cart that I was like, I gotta get it, I gotta get it. So I did some research. Of course, of course, I'm missing a piece or a couple pieces. Oh, and that's what, I didn't have any, my reception was crap. So I'm sitting there trying to research it before I purchased. I think I paid four bucks. It looks like I'm gonna pay more online trying to complete the set, but worth it. 
Okay, the other one I got is from Zootopia and it's uh, Judy Rabbit, no, Judy Hopps and Nick Fox. Is that it, you guys? So again, the Tsum Tsums that I don't really care about. But when I saw this card, I had to get it. Her little police car, her little police, you know, when she's driving around and bored to tears ticketing. And then these little, the ice cream pops, the little paw pops. You remember. So I could see these in pieces in the bag and I was like, again, no reception, trying to figure out is everything here? I get it home, no, everything is not here. But it's so cute. <laughs> so I think that is everything from my very first toy show. It was a win. I cannot wait to go back next year. I gotta save my pennies. All right, YouTube, thanks so much for watching. That was a lot of fun. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Shannon and my channel is all about my love of Disney, collecting Disney, amassing, getting my dopamine fix by hunting for retro toys. You will see a lot of retro on this channel, a couple hauls. I do occasionally have some new merch, just basically whatever fulfills my nerddom for the moment. If that sounds like your cup of tea, stick around. There's more nerddom to come. And as always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.